Hey, what's up guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. Hope everybody's having an awesome day today. The date is October 28th, 2020. What I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna fish with the lure I haven't used in a few years. They're very hard to find. They don't have them in stores. I had to order it online. It was one of my favorite lures that I've used for many years, caught a lot of species, and it just came in yesterday. So that's gonna be the theme for this video. I'm gonna use this lure and let me show you what it is. This is a Meps Aglia red and white. It's been around for a long time. This spinner is very hard to find these days. They don't sell them in stores anymore. You have to order it online. And a lot of times they don't have any in stock. It took me a few weeks for this to come in. I ordered it on Fish USA website. This is the only size they had left in stock. It's a small number zero, red and white, with a gold spoon blade in the back. And it's got really strong, sharp treble hooks. And I'm gonna see if I can get some fish on this. This was my favorite all-time inline spinner for many, many years. I used to use this spinner all the time. I caught so many species on it. Just the combination of the red and white colors on the spoon blade, it just drives the fish nuts. Get a lot of fish, a lot of strikes. I'm gonna go to a couple different spots. And I don't care what I catch. If I catch a trout, if I catch a bass, you know, whatever. I'll be happy. I just want to use this MEPS Red and White. My favorite spinner. Haven't found it in a long time. And we'll see if we can get some fish on it. Let me head over to the first spot. And I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Alright. Gonna try my local pond first. It's overcast. Slight breeze, 56 degrees, so it's a cool overcast fall day. Should be good fishing conditions, we'll find out. Let's try this MEPS Red and White. Haven't used this in a few years. The last couple ones that I had, I got snagged up and I lost. And I wasn't able to find them since, so I'm glad I finally got one. This is a small one, they didn't have any bigger ones. I'm going to keep looking. Fish USA said they may get some in in the next month. But this is a small number zero, red and white. And uh, the fish go crazy over the red and white color combination. So let's give it a shot. Like I said, the red and white spoon blade should attract some fish. They've been hitting the Ned Rigs here a lot. And the crawdads very slow along the bottom. So it's been cold. But I want to see if I can get one on the red and white MEP spinner here. Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. First cast. I got my brand new uh, spinning rod and reel set up. I got on sale last week. This is an Abu Garcia Black Max. It's a six foot six medium and uh, spinning reel. I put 10 pound mono on it. And uh, it's my first Abu Garcia setup I've owned. I heard the Abu Garcias are a really, really good setup, so I wanted to give it a try. It was on sale. I got it for like half price, so you can't beat that. Spot number one was a dud. My local pond. I was here for about a half hour. They weren't hitting the uh, spinner. I even tried the Ned Rig just to see if they were biting on anything and nothing. It was a little bit breezy. It's a little bit cool. You know, they just weren't biting. So I'm going to head over to spot number two now and we'll see if we can get some fish. I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, spot number two. I'm actually back up here in Flatbrook, but I'm gonna explore some more of the area. There's a lot of rivers and streams and even some hidden ponds. They all connect one way or the other. And we'll see if we can get some fish on this MEPS red and white spinner. 
I think there's a pond up here on the left. There's a lot of hiking trails up here. They go on for miles and miles up here in the mountains. Really beautiful area. It looks like the Canadian wilderness up here, guys. Look. It's only a little bit cloudy. It's like half clouds and half blue sky. Here's one of the ponds I told you about. I saw it on the map. There might be trout in here, might be bass. This looks deadly, guys. Never fished this before. It's about 300 yards from the Trout River. I actually think one of the Trout Rivers connect to this. So there could be anything in here. It's a little bit of weeds over here. Let's walk around over there on the other side. It's less weedy. I can use this spinner. Never knew this was back here. Look at this little pond. Look at the fall foliage. I think the Trout River is over there. All right, let's see if we can get some fish here. It looks great. This is where one of the trout streams actually starts. I told you, Flatbrook, there's big Flatbrook, little Flatbrook, there's some ponds, there's some streams. This looks great. All right, let's see if there's any fish in here. Let's see if I get a fish here on the MEPS red and white. All right, here we go. Twenty minutes later. I got one. Got one, guys. Took twenty minutes. What is this? It's a trout. It's a big perch. Look at this, guys. It's a big perch on the MEPS red and white. Look at this guy. Sorry, look, that's a yellow perch. He's huge. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at the size of this perch, guys. Let me unhook him. I'll show you guys a closer view. Really big yellow perch. Only took about 25 minutes. Look at this yellow perch, guys. Look at that belly. Look at how fat. Well, the MEPS red and white still works. Look at this. It took 25 minutes here at this little hidden wooded pond in Flatbrook. Let me get a picture and I'll show you guys the release. All right, guys. One last view with this jumbo yellow perch here on the MEPS red and white. Really big perch. He'd be really good eating. Real fat belly. He's fattening up for the winter. All right, I'll show you guys the release. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting the maps red and white. I'll see you later. There he goes. See you, Mr. Perch. All right. That took less than a half hour. Let's see if we can get some more. That was awesome. I knew I would catch something on the red and white. I just didn't know where or how long it would take.
seconds later. Got one. Pull and drag. What is this? Nice fight. Nice fight. It's a pick roll. Species number two, guys. On the MEPS red and white. Chain pick roll. Chain pick roll. Fish number two in the last half hour. I gotta get the pliers for this. He inhaled it. I'm naming that fish. I'm gonna name it. Chain pick roll, guys. He's cold. This water's cold here. Water's getting cold everywhere. All right, two fish, two species. Let's see if we can get fish number three here. They're loving this MEPS red and white. I knew they would. It's a multi-species. This is a great little pond here. There's gotta be some big bass in here too. Number one, another one. Oh, he's taking drag, what is this? Two casts later. It's another pick roll, guys. Come here, buddy. He's fighting hard. He was taking drag. Whoa. Got one. That was like two casts later. Another chain pick roll. Come here, buddy. Good fight. Good fight. Watch out, Serenity. I can't believe it. Oh, he fell off the hook. Good thing I brought him up here on the hill. Not going to get a picture of him. Just a little guy. Another pick roll. Two casts later. That's two pick roll and a big yellow perch here in the last 45 minutes. I'll show you guys the release. The pick roll loves spinners anyway. It doesn't matter what kind of spinner you use. But that's awesome. Three fish already. Two species. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. There he goes. He darted out to the left. All right, let's see if we can get fish number four. This is awesome. A multi-species slam here at this little wilderness pond on the MEP spinner. I'm just curious, guys. There's a little waterfall here coming off this pond into a little, like, spillway pipe. I bet you there's some fish under there. Let me throw the red worm under there, see if a fish bites it. I'm just curious. It's not going to be very big if I do get a fish, but let's try it. This will be fun. Whoa, I see a fish. You see a fish, Renny? Yeah. There's got to be fish in here, in this pipe. It's very shallow. This is like micro fishing. I'm just curious. I see a tiny fish. Tiny one. Well, nothing in that little spillway pipe. I had two little bites. I think they were small bluegills. Uh, I'm going to head over to the uh, trout stream on the way back and see if I can get a couple more fish. We're running out of daylight here. We got maybe a half hour left. So, see if I can get a couple more fish. And then I'm going to go home, have dinner, and that'll be a wrap. I missed a big rainbow over here. He chased it. He's swimming over here back and forth. I'm going to put a red worm on and see if I can get him. He didn't really commit to the spinner. He chased it. And then he got spooked and swam back out over there towards the bridge. Nice rainbow. One minute, 37 seconds later. Next cast, guys. I got one. 
It's a brook trout, good size one, native brookie. Well, after I had that rainbow chase the spinner. What my hands. Oh, this is a good size brookie, guys. Beautiful, look. Right at the end of the lip. Another native brookie. This is a really good size one. Look at those colors. All right, I'll show you guys the release. Nice native brookie. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. There he goes. All right, third species, fourth fish. Let's see if we can get fish number five. It's gonna get dark in a few minutes. All right, let's go home. It's getting dark. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Running out of daylight. Only got like five minutes of daylight left. It was a good couple hours here. I did catch four fish, three species. The MEPS red and white spinner came through as I figured it would. I caught three fish on it, two chain pickerel, and a nice jumbo yellow perch. And then I tried using the red worms, had a few other bites, and came back to the Trout River. And I had a rainbow chase the red and white twice. And then he got spooked and went back to the bridge. And then I switched over to the red worms, had three bites, and I landed that nice native brook trout. I caught a lot of native brook trout here at this river the last week. You know, there's a lot of trout fish here at Flat Brook. It's a really beautiful area. There's rivers, there's streams, there's hidden ponds in the woods. You know, really great area. I'm definitely going to come back here again and explore some more. There's a few other rivers and some other hidden ponds that I saw on the map that I'm going to check out. You know, maybe in a couple of weeks, but it was a good multi-species couple hour session here. The MEPS red and white, and I caught that native brook trout at the end to finish it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.